Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see whether or not this is meant to be. So we want to find out whether your connection here with your special person, if it's destined, if it's meant to be here. Now please keep in mind that sometimes what is meant to be and what is meant to last are not necessarily one and the same thing. There can be a bit of a difference here. So just because sometimes something is meant to be, it's not always meant to last here. I'm not saying that's the case. But just want you to be mindful of that this is going to be a general reading guys so please also keep that in mind if you are interested in a personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out i will list my email address just below the video here so we'll begin by giving the cards a shuffle here and see um what messages are coming in for you it might be beneficial if you do hold an image of your romantic uh, energy here in mind as we do the reading Oh, okay, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so there's a bit of a turbulency in the energies here or in the emotions, okay? Um, maybe inconsistencies here, especially with the moon's energy. I feel like there's a strong sense of duality. Maybe the two of you are on and off, you're back and forth. Maybe this is someone who is a fluctuating presence in your life. They come and they go, you're a thing and you're not a thing. Um, or maybe just your feelings here for one another are a little bit all over the place. They're a little bit like... Um, scattered here. So from what I can see this is a connection in which you or someone here has been taking their time or maybe there's a need to take your time here especially as indicated with the Knight of Pentacles energy. Something tells me that this connection may not necessarily be working particularly well okay it may not necessarily be or maybe this is past tense for some of you um, but something tells me that it may not necessarily be sort of um, the most inspiring or it may not be manifesting in the way that you want it to be uh, for it to be manifested but something tells me that you're very consistent or your person's energy is very consistent very dedicated and at, at the very least committed as well to your energy or to the idea of what the two of you have even if they are a little bit you know of a fluctuating presence or they come and go I still feel like they're if not consistent they're committed here And look, your person may not necessarily be the most reliable, but uh, the most like consistent. But I do feel like with the energy, with the Knight of Pentacles, they are coming across as someone who's reliable, um, patient. They're, they either are a patient energy or you're coming up as a patient energy. Or I feel like there's a need for you to be patient with this connection. Because the both of you, I feel like you can trust what the two of you have, even if you sometimes question what it is that you have going on between one another but I feel like you can trust the feelings you can trust the way that they make you feel and you know they easily can trust the way you make them feel here for a lot of you I do feel like what you want from this connection here is a sense of stability reliability consistency commitment as indicated by the knight of pentacles now I'm also seeing that there is a lot of insecurities that are coming up either something about this connection here maybe triggers certain insecurities within your energy or maybe this is something that this person tends to evoke in you or either your person here is probably not the most secure within themselves and sometimes maybe they are being led here by their insecurities okay so I feel like maybe they're not really confident within themselves or they're not really confident here with what the two of you have okay because there's a bit of insecurities that are coming strong and I feel like 
it's like these insecurities are causing a sort of barrier um, in order to move this connection along. So someone he doesn't feel very sure of themselves, okay? Someone he really wants the love and they really want, you know, commitment or they really want to commit, but they feel like maybe they're not worthy of it or they feel like maybe they're not capable. So see how, you know, this person or this energy, whether it's you or your person here, see how they want something, but it's their very insecurities that are preventing them from getting that and attaining that goal so definitely someone's insecurities i feel like are causing a bit of a disruption to the flow of this connection here now the king of cups here is governed by the emotional realm the suit of cups and he is someone who has a complete mastery of his emotions okay he has that emotional maturity that emotional intelligence to navigate all emotional territories so he's got that down pat so it's good that he's made an appearance here in your spread because i feel like what the two of you have gone through you know that inconsistencies look for some of you maybe right now your connection with this person is under the influence of a tower moment I know it's not a very comfortable energy field, it's not a very comfortable place to be, but understand that you have to grow through what you're going through, understand that the reason why it's happening is because it's sort of like testing your connection, and also it's strengthening you, it's strengthening what the two of you have as a couple, and it's strengthening you as an individual, so understand that it's preparing you as well for what lies ahead for you and for this connection, for the future of it. So with the King of Cups here, I feel like right now it's, for some of you, what might really help is try and, especially when things get a little bit emotionally complicated or challenging within this connection or with this energy, it might help to just try and neutralize the situation, okay? Um, that might help, but also I feel like the King of Cups here is calling on you to sort of trust your intuition, okay? Really trust your intuition, because... You might have a storm going on within you or outside of you. Your intuition is something that is trying to, it's never going to lead you astray, okay? And your intuition communicates to you via this vibrational energy, okay? So you need to trust it. Never dismiss it, okay? Never discount your intuition. Like for instance, even if the two of you are experiencing a separation or a tower moment or two or three here, if your intuition, and even if, you know, it's over between the two of you, but if your intuition he strongly feels, you know, that intuitive gut nudge or that hunch that you get, if that strongly feels like it's not over yet, or if you feel like, you know, you still have unfinished business or there's unresolved emotions there, so trust what your intuition is telling you, okay, and let it guide you, because often it will guide you into the right direction, it won't, you know, it will never lead you astray, so I feel like that's the reason why the King of Cups is here, also trust your energy, trust your energy, trust your emotions here, those things don't lie, if something feels off, or if something doesn't add up, it probably you know, it's probably not adding up because a truth is left out of the equation or if it feels off, it's probably because it is. So trust that, you know, those emotionally intuitive nudges that you get from time to time. Because I feel like you'll regret it if you don't trust it and if you feel like you can override it or you can ignore it, you will regret it. Guys, take that as a bit of a warning. Okay, the moon card here, as I've mentioned again, it's definitely highlighting to me um, insecurities, okay? So I feel like there's a lot of illuminance that I'm getting from your reading, and I feel like whatever it is that you're going through, like for a lot of you, you've hit a setback or you've hit some stumbling blocks with this person. Um, I feel like this person has entered your life because they're really illuminating certain things to you about yourself and about this connection. For a lot of you, I feel like maybe there are certain things about this person that you'd really dislike um, or that you feel like this person needs to improve. The very things that you might be dis you know, you might be disliking within them are the very things that aren't necessarily sitting right within your energy as well. And it's something that you too might have to take a look at. So I definitely feel like this person has entered your life because in a way, yes, they've brightened up your life. And in another way, yes, they've most certainly complicated things for you but I definitely feel like this person is a blessing because it feels like they're here to illuminate a lot of things to you about yourself about love about life about people relationships you know about how to respond or how to navigate certain situations so I feel like if you look there is so much light that is being shown onto um, certain dark areas of of your life or of your personality 
um, of, or of just, you know, what it is that you're experiencing. So there's certain, there's a certain darkness that I'm picking up within, like either a con the connection or within someone's energy. And I feel like there's a light here. This person entered. And the reason why it feels uncomfortable is because you're changing, you're growing, you're evolving. And that is never really all that comfortable because it's new, it's unfamiliar. So don't fight it, don't resist it. Because I feel like, yeah, this person is definitely shining a light onto the darkness. And especially this connection here. So ultimately, are you meant to be? You know, is this meant to be? It most certainly is meant to be. I honestly believe that anyone that enters your life here does so for a reason. You know, the things that we are attracted to, the people that we are drawn to, it's never just random. Um, and I definitely feel like the two of you have a very strong connection. And if you can withstand this tower moment that you're going through, okay, if your connection is really is strong enough to withstand the storm, you will endure. Because that's the whole point of this tower moment that you're experiencing. It's not here to just throw a spanner in the works. It's not here to just disrupt your connection. Okay, that's even though it may look this way, that's not the purpose. The purpose of it is to illuminate a lot of things to you. And it's sort of like it's a blessing in disguise. It really is, guys, because you know, the foundation, the, the foundational structure of your connection may be eroding. So this tower moment, it's sort of giving you an insight into what needs to be worked on, what needs improving. So take it as, um, take it as a blessing because it truly is. You know, yes, you're definitely meant to be. And I feel like if you can withstand the storm, your connection is only going to go from strength to strength. I do feel like there needs to be a little bit more clarity. If you can try and get a little bit more clear with one another and with yourself about your feelings and your intentions for this connection, I feel like it'll definitely help sort of make things a little bit easier from here on in. But I definitely feel like you guys are meant to be. There's a reason why... Even though, you know, you guys are inconsistent with one another or even though you're sort of, you know, this person is in and out of your life. Notice how you guys keep gravitating and coming back towards one another. Okay, because the people that are, the people and things that are meant for us, even though they leave our lives, they will just naturally find a way to gravitate back towards us. Okay, and I get that this is what's happening here. And notice, you know, there's an infinity loop that hovers around uh, the maiden's head here. Something about this feels like it is destined to me. It feels like this is a part, not only is this person interwoven into your destiny, but I do feel like this is meant to go the, the distance. I honestly feel like for a lot of you, you are meant to, and you will um, endure this storm with this person because something about this feels like it just may be forever. Not this whole <laughs> on and off thing, but if you can if you can find a way to be consistent with one another, it feels like you're in it for the long ride. Alright guys, these are your messages. Thanks for watching, listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting. I'll be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye.